Hi, once again, Pastor Bob Reynolds here from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church. I don't know if the story is true or not, but some have said that when Boris Yeltsin, the president of Russia at the time, stepped off the plane to greet President Bill Clinton, the very first question he asked the United States president was, do you think O.J. did it? You may remember where you were on October 3 in 1995 as we waited to hear the verdict on the O.J. Simpson trial. It was Johnny Cochran who uttered the famous line, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit, talking about the glove that O.J. tried to put on as he sat in trial. That trial was televised for more than four months. One writer said it was the Super Bowl of murder trials. There have been many famous trials down through the ages, the, the Scopes Monkey Trial in 1925, the Nuremberg War Trials in the 1940s, and presidential impeachment trials. There is one trial that is the most famous of them all. It is the trial of Jesus before Pontius Pilate on the night before his death in AD 31. Don't know if you've ever stood before a judge, but it's rather an intimidating feeling. Stand before a judge and speak to him about a speeding ticket. <laughs> Think how it must feel to try to say the right things that will preserve your very life in some cases. How will the judge decide? Would there be those out there who would ask like Boris Yeltsin, do you think he did it? <laughs> in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Paul is writing to the Corinthians, and, and he's really writing to all of us. He says, we will all be judged by Christ, and he will hold us accountable for what we have done in this body of ours, whether it was good or bad. Father, when it comes time for the judgment, I would just pray that each of us will consider today where we will be at that time. We have a judge who's going to judge our actions and our words and the things that we've done against or for others in our life. I pray that we will be judged as worthy to have a place in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.